Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at the importance of shape when designing your vessels. We'll look at why it's important, how to go about designing your hull, and some other tips and tricks from myself and other workshop creators. The shape of a ship is one of the most crucial parts of building, as it will ultimately determine a lot of critical factors for a ship design, including its strengths and limitations. The main things a vessel's shape will decide are how large of an interior volume you'll have to work with, how large your thruster packs will be, your weapon firing arcs, and the ship's overall profile when enemies are attacking. When you have chosen what class of ship you'd like to build, I recommend spending some time coming up with an appropriate shape for the hull. A good idea can be to look at the shapes of other ships in the same class and see what shape the most effective examples use. It's not the be all end all of a ship's effectiveness, however it will make a big difference. For example, if you're looking to build a blockade runner, it helps to have a large thruster pack at the rear of the ship to help acceleration past enemy vessels. Or if you're building a carrier, you want to maximise internal volume by keeping the surfaces flat, which we often see with carriers allowing it to carry a larger fighter complement and in turn serve its role more effectively. Omega is a creator on the workshop who has helped me with a lot of projects in the past. Some of his most notable creations are the Dragon Class Dropship, the Mainstay Class Armoured Cruiser and the Warden Class Cruiser. His tips for a vessel shape are as follows. Try to keep proportions even, so it builds in unity and the end product looks more balanced as opposed to being too front heavy or too back heavy. Start the hull as a small group of large shapes and gradually carve them down so you end up with a large group of small shapes. For each axis, apply an angle and try to stick with the blocks of that angle. E.g. X axis will be flat, Y axis will be 45 degrees and Z axis will be 30 degrees. This creates consistency and avoids areas that do not connect well. Reva is the creator of the REC, ZS and SAE branch of vessels. Some of his most notable vessels are the Carronade class frigate, the Orion class light cruiser and the Vanquisher class missile frigate. His tips for a vessel shape are as follows. If you're trying to make a ship unique, make sure the shape is distinct. If you want all your firepower to be able to train on a point somewhere on the front of the ship, a wedge shape will allow for that. When planning out ship shapes, keep in mind that hangers take up a lot of space, especially if you're going to have a connector on the floor. Yaki routinely builds stunning vessels, which are also extremely effective in combat. Some of his most notable vessels are the Matsumoto class battleship, the Ashika class cruiser, and the Aya class corvette. His tips for a vessel's shape are as follows. Don't be afraid about playing around with proportions. Things like detaching parts and moving them a couple blocks forward or a couple blocks back. Rear thrust can be a solid place to start if you can't think of a particular unique or strong feature you want to start off with. If you have a thrust pack that feels great, it can make it easier to taper forwards, adding details and internals. You don't always need to start building by defining the shape or the feature of the ship that you have in your head. It can be fine to build a solid base first and then add on the features you want as you go along, just keeping it in mind. Almost every ship built in Space Engineers can be attributed to one of five shapes. To give you an example of these, we're gonna take a look at some ships from the workshop and we're gonna figure out what shape they were originally designed and built from. Here is Aragath's Red Cruiser, one of the most well-known ships in Space Engineers. If we take a look at the cruiser from the top, we can see it employs what I like to call the cock and balls design. This is where you have the central hull, and then the aft part of the ship you have two nacelles splitting off. This gives loads of interior space, with good placements for the forward and rear thrusters as well. Here is Reva's REC Aggressor Class Frigate. If we look at this from the top, we can see that it's designed in a wedge shape to help with forward firepower. The wedge is an excellent shape if you want your ship to focus its firepower forward, 
however it does offer limitations in terms of rear facing firepower. Here is the Trident class frigate built by myself and Omega. If we take a look at this from the top we can see it has the hammerhead design on the bow. This gives the bow far more armour as well as plenty of placements for weapons, thrusters and more interior space as well. Here is the freighter Eridanus built by myself. If you look at it from the top we can see it's the simple rectangle shape. This helps the ship be more compact and also streamlines it and makes it more efficient and smaller. However this will limit interior space as you have to cram the thrusters into the hull of the ship. Here is the Gladiator class cruiser. If you look at it from the top we can see it employs a three pronged design with the central hull and then the two nacelles which are a bit further forward than the cock and balls design. This gives you loads of interior space to work with and also provides good placement for hangars or rear thrust. In conclusion, the shape of a ship can ultimately decide a lot of important factors as well as contributing to the vessel's class. I definitely spend a lot of time before building a ship considering different shapes and what benefits and drawbacks they will offer your vessel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe to support the channel and as always, take care everybody.